everyone, it's Ishan and today I'm at a fire station because my sister has roped me in to visit a fire station with her and I have never ever visited a fire station so why not? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> My sister has a dream to become a firefighter when she graduates from uni. So I'm here to support her dream and she wants to visit the fire station today to learn more about it. So let's go! Every year, firefighters have to go through this test twice a year. And it's putting on their uniform. So let's see how they do it. Ready? <laughs> what a cute little jump. fire truck. There's also a fire bike. I didn't know that and this is the latest most high-tech yeah, fire three bike. Wheel. It's three wheel. Yeah. So even I, I can ride it. <laughs> even I can ride it. Even I And it even has a built-in AED. Not built-in. Not built-in. Contains okay. an AED. It contains an AED. Compressed air foam oh. to help put out fire. Oh yeah. And so there must be a water tank in here somewhere. No, there isn't. Oh, so, it's oh, just a compressed air foam tank. Oh, okay. Yep. Alright. This is the fire bike. So this is the typical fire truck. Let me walk you through it. There are pipes. And what are the pipes for? For water to be <laughs> shot out. For water to be shot out. You see they are all rolled up. They are actually very long. And this is they are actually very heavy. <laughs> and they are very heavy. Yes, I tried just now. And this is the nozzle. Oh, they have small nozzles and big nozzles. Mm. Huh? Okay. Okay. Oh. Fire Mm -hmm. And is this oxygen tank? It's a compressed air tank. Why it's not, do you need it's that? not just oxygen. Oh, it's just air. Yeah. Oh, it's compressed air. So, like, if you go into really stuffy places, you still can breathe, right? Uh huh. Okay. So, what is this thing here? I don't know. Like <laughs> right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why it's there. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to chill in the truck now. Them smelly. Yeah, it's thick. And this section right here looks super metallic and boring, but it's actually to deal with chemical hazard called hazmat, which is hazardous material. Hazardous <laughs> material. What are some examples of that? Uh, depends on the industry. If there's industry gas leak, sometimes oh, if it contains like, like group one element. Okay. You cannot just use water to put out, otherwise you explode. <laughs> and then here, <laughs> this oh, is all your outlet. Yeah, so there are compressed, there's the foam and there's water. Oh, oh you mean like, like bubble foam? 
so no? like soup. Why do you need soup? Because the foam can form a blanket, then it will blanket. Oh, so it will, it will deprive the, the oxygen. Oh, oh, I never knew that. Okay, so it not just spits out water; it also spits out foam to contain the fire and naturally put it out. the best noodle in the world. Thank you guys for spending a day with me. See you guys next time.